every kid must have a dream to own a robot or a robot monster and use a watch or some device to control it. Carlos is no exception, so I often teach my students to have endless imagination. Because something I couldn't have decades ago, as long as I have the imagination, I can have it today. Just a reminder, if you like the channel of Carlos the Organ Man, please click the subscribe in the lower right corner. If you want to be notified of new videos as soon as possible, please click the bell. You are also welcome to add likes and comments. Carlos has made a lot of movable projects. For example, mechanism car, welcome for me, micro big boat, etc. But I always hope to make something that can walk on feet. Talking about robots that walk on the feet, you won't forget Boston Dynamics. No matter for late or too late, the robots are very good. Carlos understands that these high-tech robots are not easy to make. But if I don't start with simple mechanics to learn something about a robot, I will be unwilling. So I keep on researching for many years. Recently, I like to read information about robots in Hasselhoff. I think using Arduino with servo and programming. As a maker, I should be able to make one. I found many examples, and I chose a simple one that is easy to make. To save time, Carlos downloaded a part of the author's 3D parts. I hope to print one leg and try it out. It took 5 hours to print the parts of only one leg. I also prepared 3 MG995 servos, bearing. There are also swing arms for servos, screws etc. The installation is not complicated at all. This is the main part. MG995 should be installed in it. The method is to put these curved nuts into the holes of the 3D part with heat. Then you can install screws. When the four screws of the main circle are installed, then insert two curved nuts to install the second joint. Of course, MG995 servo should be installed in the second joint also. The installation is almost the same. As for the servo swing arm, cut it short to match the 3D part. Before installing the third joint and the servo, we need some accessories. Install the last few long screws. The whole claw is almost complete. We test the three joints, and they are quite smooth. With experience, quickly make the second claw. But remember that the two claws are symmetrical. The first joint needs to be mirrored before printing. Carlos had made a mechanism car. I used a carrick as a platform, but it broke. So I make my mind at the beginning this time to use 6mm aluminum as platform. Aluminum plate with this thickness must be processed by CNC. So I first import the diagram into arc clamp. You see that these six holes are for mounting bearings. I have to judge the depth of the inner circle and the outer circle. After choosing the tool for cutting aluminum plate, Let's simulate it first. Then export several sets of two parts into G code. For those who have watched the video Carlos introduced CNC, should be familiar with this machine. Actually, the operation is very similar to 3D printer. Respectively, 3D print uses additive modeling, but CNC uses subtractive modeling. After the platform is completed, continue to make the top plate. The top six holes are different from the bottom six holes. The six holes on the platform are round for mounting bearings, but the six holes on the top plate are for the swing arm of the first joint. So, use CNC to cut this groove and completely insert the swing arm into it so the servo can exert force on the plate. Simulate first and then export to G-code. 
then you can put it in the machine for cutting. You can see that the six grooves are neat. The swing arm of the servo should be able to insert. The platform and the top plate are finished. We we'll try to install the robotic arm on it. There is a bearing at the bottom of the first joint, which is installed on the platform. The distance between the platform and the top plate is fixed by two 3D printed parts. When the distance between the two is fixed, put the top plate on and screw. Finally, install the swing arm of the first joint. I tested the smoothness of each joint. Then connect the surface to an Arduino for testing. I used an Arduino Uno to drive 3MG995. I found it very difficult and very slow. Since we have to drive 6 claws at the end, a total of 18MG995 I needed. An Arduino Uno is not enough. So I prepared an Arduino Mega 2560. This is the first time I introduced 2560 to you. It has more than 60 digital outputs, plus more than 10 analog outputs, equipped with a servo shield, enough to control 70 servos. Of course, to control 18 servos to move together, you must supply power. I finished the other four tools very quickly. After installing them between the top plate and the platform, I found the whole hassle port is very heavy. I almost can't hold it with one hand. Oh, it's on the rocks again. Instead, I have to use a carry to replace aluminum this time. But it doesn't matter. The design make process should be like this. I programmed the Mega 2560. Adjust the angles of all servers to suitable values. Then supply with 12 volt power. Hey, you can stand up. But why does it shake like I was past least feet? After many experience, I found that there are many possible problems. The first is that each servo is not centered when installed, so the angles are different. Secondly, some servos may have quality problems. It seems this one is turning constantly, not functioning properly. The third is this set of 3D parts I downloaded are too thin to carry the entire hack support. So, if I wanted to move, I have to redesign all parts. I can only power it up and let it stand out. I believe that if I want to program it to be able to use a phone or a watch to hold, I have to go a long way. But it doesn't matter, you have to try to achieve success. Hope you can continue to support Carlos video and support me to complete my project. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share before leaving.